What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys one of my favorite decks of the format, if not my favorite deck of the format and that is Tri Brigade Branded. This deck is super fun to play but also very competitive so I think you guys should try it out but before we get into the deck profile make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. One more thing I want to say real quick is that if you guys want a full deck list as well as a download link so you guys can play this online all you guys gotta do is join the Slifer Slacker Squad today. Slifer Slacker Squad is kind of hard to say. You guys can join it just by joining the channel membership. There's a little join button beside the subscribe button. It's only $2.99 a month and you guys get a ton out of it. You guys get early access to all my videos. You guys get discounts. There's a lot of things. You guys get really cool badges as well beside your names. And on top of that, it does help support me. It does help support the channel. So if you guys want to consider doing that, make sure to check that out. Maybe if it's for you, you guys can help support. But with that being said, let's get into the deck profile. All right, so I'm going to start this video off with the little Tri Brigade engine that we're starting off with. And that is triple rescue cat yes this is technically a tri brigade monster very important to your combo and then of course you're playing triple fractal triple nerval triple kit as well as double keras and double revolt okay so i'm going to talk about this a little bit because it's very important that you guys know why you're playing the ratios that we're playing so here essentially the reason why you want to play triple cat more than anything is because cat is your best starter honestly if you open cat and cat resolves for you you're winning the game not only does it give you a full combo just on its own it also gives you full follow-up for your next turn so if this card resolves and you guys are going to see that we're playing a lot of cards that make sure this card resolves so if this card does resolve you're gonna have your full combo going you're gonna have follow-up for next turn you're gonna have a bunch of monsters on the board you can otk really easily your opponent is gonna have a very tough time playing through these boards so rescue cat of course is very important then of course you're playing triple of the good tri brigade monsters Keras is a good card as well don't get me wrong but the thing is with Keras is it on its own doesn't really do anything for you whereas these actually do so Keras is only a two of and i'm actually playing two revolt and i want to talk about this because i see some people and a lot of people have actually cut revolt to one the reason i like two revolt is for a couple of reasons the main one being that it gives you more of a grind game but the more interesting one is that if you actually end up opening a revolt in your hand then you don't have to do bear brum combo lines where you have to use the bear brum as a fusion material for mirror jade and then essentially you can do different combos that save some of the resources in your extra deck and you don't need to force out the cards to get to this because you'll already have this in your hand so that's why i still like to revolt that's it for the tri brigade engine i think this is perfect again rescue cat is your main card if you start with rescue cat you have your full combo on its own but then of course you can have combos with like Keras, Nerval, you can have Kit, Nerval is pretty good as well. Fractal, if you open any two, you're very, very strong. Even just opening Nerval or Kit on her own is really strong as well because you have stuff like Almirage. So this is very important to play, but I think these ratios are perfect. Now to move into our branded engine, we are playing one Tri Brigade Mercurier, one Fallen of Albaz, one Albion, double branded Fusion, as well as one branded Sword. Now let me explain these ratios. The reason I like to play two branded Fusion, actually there's a lot of reasons why I like to play two branded Fusion, but the reason specifically I like to play two and not three, and I also don't like to play one, so it's very weird. This is actually one of those cards that I actually specifically like playing two of, because it's really good if you draw it, of course, but the thing is it does lock you out of your link plays, of course, if you do draw it. So that's why I don't like playing the three because you draw it a lot when you play the three. And then obviously if you play the third one, it's actually not bad because if your rescue cat or something gets stopped, you can just brand infusion and then you can just have a mirror jade at least from something. But the only thing is with this is the reason I like playing it two more than anything is because one, you're gonna use one in your combo every single time, but two, on top of that, you are playing cross out in the deck. So if you're playing against a Despia mirror match, whether it's Tri Brigade or just pure Despia or Brave Despia, whatever it is, you can cross out the other brand of fusion and now they're locked out of it. So that's why I do like playing the second one. That's basically the reason why I don't like to play just the one. Also, another reason is that you can use your Albion later in the game to send your second brand of fusion later. So you get an extra draw or like an extra, like, you know, fix your hand with Albion. So there's, there's a lot of things you guys can do with this. The reason, again, I don't like playing three is because when you do play three your opponent can play around it easily where they're like okay if my opponent's playing try branded i'll just wait till he goes into his fair g or something like that and then i'll negate it and then at that point now i can't even activate brand infusion the, the reasoning behind brand infusion at three was a lot of people were like okay if I normal summon my rescue cat and it gets impermed, or I normal summon, let's say, you know, your tri brigade nerval and you want to activate your nerval effect and it gets impermed, then you're kind of stuck, right? A lot of better players know how to play around this, and essentially what they'll do is they'll let you combo off until you get to your fear G or something that you need to activate their effect, and then you'll negate that. If you draw this in your hand, you can't use it anymore because you now have gone into your link summoning, right? So that's why I don't like this card at three. I think two is perfect. And then these are just one ofs that you need to play for your combo. Sword is really good, Mercury is really good, Albaz, of course, and Albion is a very strong card as well. 
helpful. So these are just mostly needed for the combo. This is the most important thing that some people play one, some people play three. I think two is actually the best ratio. And I've talked to a lot of people about it and they were telling me that two is probably the way to go for this deck because it's just the most consistent and it gives you a lot of follow-up in terms of like the cross out and whatnot. So you have disruption, I should say not follow-up, disruption, but you also have your full combo to go through. So that's why I really like this lineup and I think this is the perfect lineup for the deck. Moving into our hand traps, we are playing a lot of hand traps. We're playing triple ash. Ash is actually very important because branded fusion, if your opponent just opens this and they don't really open anything else and they go branded fusion and you ash it, if they don't have a cross out or if they don't have a call by the grave to stop the ash, then you're in such a good position because even against like all the despair, keep in mind that I'm talking about the meta, right? So if you're playing against a lot of these branded decks, branded Eldlich, branded like Despia, whether you're playing, you know, all those different decks that use this engine, even the mirror match. If you go uh, Ash Blossom on the uh, branded fusion, they can't set up their graveyard. They can't set up their branded in red. They can't set up anything. So that's why Ash is very, very powerful. And that's why you have to be playing this card at three because seeing this card is very, very important right now. Speaking of a card that's really important against the meta, Ghost Spell is also very powerful as well. So I do like to play double Ghost Spell. Here, we're going to play a bunch of two ofs and one ofs. So two Ghost Ogre, of course, the Brave Engine is still very, very real. So for that reason, you do want to play the Ghost Ogre still. Until Adventure gets hit, then uh, Ghost Ogre is very important because Adventure is just way too powerful. So you need to be playing this. Then we're playing one Effect Veiler as well as one DD Crow. This is mostly for cross out targets. That's why the only reason we're playing the one Veiler. DD Crow is really good this format as well because technically you can DD Crow a Water Enchantress. So they can't get into their right, but you can also DD Crow cards like the Despia monsters so your opponent can't brand it in red so that sometimes like they get put in a weird position. So that's why I like this card at one. It's also a Wing Beast so you can pitch it off Keras if you need to. And then I am playing Double Imperm. So we're playing a bunch of hand traps as you guys can see we're playing two ofs mostly because we want to fit more hand traps in for cross out but we also want to be having different variety because all of these again can't be used more than once per turn so you want to really open like one and one and one or something like that you don't want to play three ofs and then risk opening like double ash or double ogre stuff like that in your hand i think this these ratios are perfect i'm playing i believe this is 11 hand traps maybe you guys can up it to 12 i think i'm playing 41 cards in the main deck i did maybe want to bump it up to 42 if you guys do want to play 42 i think the only other card that i was thinking of playing is this, like a second veil or a third imperm because I think the hand traps are very important in today's format. Lastly, to round off the deck, we are playing one call by the grave, triple cross out. Yeah, we're maxing out on these because our rescue cat needs to resolve. So it's very important that you guys got to max out on these. But also it's really good because keep in mind, cross out doesn't only stop the hand traps now because you're playing the brand infusion. It stops any deck that pretty much is playing brand infusion and relies on brand infusion, right? There's even stuff like Eldritch branded that if you just hit the fusion, they get put in a weird spot. So that's why I really like the cross out, of course, at three with the call by the grave. Then we're playing two triple tactical talents. Every deck has hand traps now, especially in today's format so this card is really good it helps you extend it helps you go further but on top of that the really nice thing about this card is even going second so this is a really good thing about this card it's really good going first and going second going first everyone has hand traps going second your opponents are probably going to put up monster negates or monster disruption any deck is going to be putting up dpe or mirror jade or something like that so if they use that effect you go ttt you can either take the card you can draw two cards if your hand isn't great this card is very very powerful you definitely need to be playing this card then lastly we are playing one tanky of course to search your fractal and one foolish burial which is just an extender essentially for you so just before we get into the extra deck over here, if you guys do want your own custom sleeves, custom playmat, or if you guys want your own custom Spanko sleeves, all you guys got to do is check out yourplaymat.com. A link will be in the description below. And you guys can use my code SPANKOYGO10YP for 10% off your order. You guys can get your own custom sleeves, your own custom playmats, SPANKOYGO10YP. Link will be in the description. You guys should check it out. So first thing we are starting off for the extra deck is to try Brigade Shureg. You really need this at two. I actually wanted to up this to three but the extra deck is kind of tight the reason why i wanted to up it to three was because you do use one in your first turn combo so you're pretty much playing with one for the rest of the game so that's why i do want to kind of maybe up it to three i don't know what i would cut though so i will see for right now two is perfectly fine one rugal of course double fair jeet a lot of people were telling me you could cut the one fair jeet for the third shureg because shureg is so powerful i don't know i like double fair jeet but you could do that as well just because again you use the one in your combo so because you use the one in your combo it's nice to have two in your extra deck at any point but yeah so double fair g i still like this one bear Brum, of course and then while al mirage this is very important this is your pretty much your honorary tri brigade monster because this your nerve and your kick can both go into and that makes it very very powerful then for non tri cards i guess you could say i mean i guess this is technically also a tri card at this point which is double dragon lords this card's insanely powerful you always get to this with your combo now which is very powerful it's really nice because this is just another form of disruption that the deck can put out really easily then you're playing of course one access code one apollo there's a lot of apollo lines you can go into with this deck which is very powerful as well so you do want to do that even 
even if you don't go into your branded and then you have your doom eagle as well which is very powerful then to round it all off we are playing of course one verte very important for your combo because you do play one brigand one albion and one mirror jade if you guys don't know what these cards do they're very very powerful they're the new cards well i guess these two aren't as new but the mirror jade is a very new card it's a banished non-target which is very very good you can send a card from your extra deck to the graveyard to activate that effect and what's really cool is you can send the brigand and brigand has a really cool effect because this is technically supposed to be like a tri brigade fusion monster so the reason this card is so good is because the turn it's sent to the graveyard at the end of the turn you can either add to your hand or special summon a tri brigade monster from your deck and this is what i mean by giving you more follow-up because even with that cat combo there's a lot of follow-up that it already generates but then when you have the mirror jade on the field this itself also gives you more follow-up because you're sending the brigand and the brigand is going to add another tri monster to your hand or special summon a tri monster so that's why i really really like this engine this package is really really good and obviously it's meta for a reason right and on top of that it works really really good with this deck as well so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's deck profile like i said if you guys want the full deck list join the slide for slackers become one today but also this deck is really really fun and really really competitive on top of that it's one of the more budget decks of the format i would have to say to be honest because if you think about like the brave decks and uh, even the despia decks with chimera being like 60 plus dollars whatever it's at like this is a more budget deck and it's still very competitive so i think you guys should try it out for yourselves if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and really that's all i gotta say i hope you guys did enjoy and with that spanko sign it out peace